Thanks, Mum. I don't think I could eat anymore. Sorry. Oh, don't worry, darling. That's OK. The service was beautiful. So many people. Everyone loved Ruby. You are so naive, Mary. You know that. Worse than a junkie. How's your new script going? That's fine, thank you. Someone's got his first commission. Didn't you tell your father about it? No. Why don't you go and get yourself ready? Don't want to miss your flight. Oh, no, no. Let me. Thank you. I'll just go and get ready then. Well, what a shame. I suppose we'll just have to set up a special parent meeting for next week, when they get back. Next week, Miss Sinclair, that's impossible. Let me make myself perfectly clear. If these mysterious parents of yours, who, by the way, haven't managed to attend a single event since you first arrived at the school, well, let's just say that if they don't turn up on Friday night, I will be forced to assume that you don't have any parents. And I'm afraid it will be my duty to call the authorities. Those girls. First they have no parents, then they have hundreds of them. I know, it used to be so simple. Oh! I mean, ghosts. Walking into the walls, coming out of the woodwork. I saw them with my own eyes. I've seen them too. Parents staring at the television, children staring at computer screens. Nobody communicates anymore. I saw ghosts. Real ghosts. A hand came out of the wall without a body. And that is not normal. Now, Miss Sinclair, you've been under a lot of pressure lately. It's just a bit too... Talk to me about pressure. Something has to be done about those girls. And if you won't do anything, then I assure you, I will. Margaret, you're the youngest looking 28 I've ever seen. 28? How old does that make me? I don't know. But if you want to get any older, you'll keep your mouth shut. I don't like you. Oh dear. Looks like I'll be crying myself to sleep again. Uh, d -d 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 come on, calm down. We've all had a good innings. We are not giving up. We are going to fight this. Right, Eric. Uh. Here's my plan. I've arranged for the next two weeks of shows to come live from the Caribbean. When they see we can afford that, they'll stop stirring up nonsense about our finances. C can we afford it? I mean, we are in trouble, aren't we?